All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today we are looking at Junshishi. Not any one specific Junshishi. No, people, we are doing all the new cards that have been revealed for them. That people, this is a 12 card review, people. 12 cards. This is that's unprecedented. You know, generally I, I look at one card, maybe two. You know, last last Monday we did three. We're doing 12. This, this is going to be this is going to be one hell of an episode, especially since. I'm gonna have to edit it a little bit more, a little bit more than I would usually do. Usually, I would just you know, take the audio file, slap in the Camtasia, take the card, slap it on Camtasia, and then bam, you know, done. You know, when the the two one, I had to kind of put them together, kind of move them over, kind of get them spaced out. You know, three of them, I had to stack them on top. This one, like I said, there's no way I'm gonna be able to slap a twelve cards up on the screen at all the time. So as I go through each individual card, I'll just put that individual card on the screen, which means that yeah, guess what I gotta do? I gotta re-listen to the audio and make sure I put each card dart right, and it's it, it's a pain. It's a pain. Oh, and of course the description. The description is gonna be fun too because I gotta put each in every single card in the description is 12. You guys better appreciate this. You guys better fucking hit that like button because holy shit, this is going to be a fun one. But I uh, know, Jun Shishi, the new Beast Warrior archetype that uh, Konami's been hella hyping up. They've been doing videos and reeling cards and they're just like, this is the new hot archetype. This is this is what you want, you know. This this entire archetype is going to be secret rare in the TCG and you're going to spend, uh, you know, all your fucking, you know, your parents' income tax on this deck, right? So, I guess without further ado, we'll hop into it. So, Junshis are based on the Chinese zodiac signs. Okay, so I'm expecting that there'll eventually be 12 of them. Uh, I think I'm Year of the Dog. Yeah, I think I'm Year of the Dog, but I don't think they have a dog one yet. So, yeah, I guess. Uh, but we have, as of right now, we have five regular monsters, four uh, XC monsters, a field spell, a continuous spell, and a trap card. We're gonna be looking at all of them in this one video. So sit back, relax, let me give you my opinions of this Juinshishi archetype. So now we're starting. We're gonna start off with the first card. So Juinshishi Thoroughblade. All right, I'm guessing that's the horse because it's like thorough. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in thoroughbred, except you're a thoroughblade. The car looks fine, you know, he's got like a giant sword, horse looking thing, so yeah. <clears throat> he is a Earth level 4. I believe that they're all going to be Earth level 4 Beast Warrior effect monsters, but just in case one of them is not, but I think I think that they are. Uh, let's go ahead and hop into this effect. So, if this card is normal summon or special summon, you can discard one Junshishi card, and if you do, draw one card okay i believe it's called looting and i believe that's from magic but we're starting to get cards like that too you know uh one of my favorite cards in the magician girl deck that we're playing on daily duels you know choco she does it too <laughs> yeah you know there is nothing wrong with that you know you you discard a card you draw. i'd say my biggest gripe is that you discard a card then you draw a card you know it'd be nice if you draw a card discard a card you know like i said there's nothing wrong with drawing there's nothing wrong with evening out there's nothing wrong with it you know you know, if I'm going to go ahead and play trading, you know, I trade two monsters for two cards, you know. Uh, if I'm going to Blur of Darkness, you know, I trade two cards, you know, the, the trade, in the, I mean, the Blur of Darkness itself, the Dark Monster, that gets banished for two new cards. That's totally fine with you, as long as you even out, you know, as long as you even out. Uh, this card, you even out, you know, you normal summon or special summon it, you draw, uh, you just card your interesting card. You draw a card. You you even out, and that in itself is great. You know, just to be able to loot and get things. You know, it's not like dark room dealings where it's like you play it right. So that's one card. Then I believe you draw a card, and then you just cut a card. So your opponent even out. Your opponent played nothing, drew a card, just cut a card. They looted. They they didn't. Act. You on the other hand, the player who played dark room dealings, because you played the dark room dealings, drew a card, discard a card. You got to one new card, but you lost two cards. That's a neg one, you know. So that's one of the reasons why you don't generally see people playing dark world dealings. You know, it's a neg unless you're playing dark world, and you could you know get a plus out of it, potential on what you uh, discard with the dark world dealings. But that's a whole different story. The point is that this card is good. This card is good. Um, uh, next effect, an Xe monster whose original type is Beast Warrior with this card Xe material gains this effect. Okay. Uh, it's interesting that it says an XC monster whose original type is Beast Warrior. So, it, the Junchichis, they're all Beast Warrior, but it, it doesn't specify that it has to be a Junchichi monster. So, could I, like, take two Junchichis XC into, like, the, the Bujin, like, 
like I, th I, th I want to say Swan, Swanee or Suku, one of them was the 2500 one, and then it gave this effect because uh, the Sea Monster's original type is Beast Warrior, and this card, and the the Beast Warrior and the Sea Monster gained this effect. This card attacks defense against monster and like piercing damage to your opponent. All right, pierce damage. There is nothing wrong with pierce damage, especially with how strong these drinks get. Because you guys don't know the game, I can kind of spoil some a little bit of the cards. Uh, the Xeon monsters they don't have their own attack. They gain attack depending on the attack of the Xeon tail. Thoroughblade here is sixteen hundred. So you stack a couple of Thoroughblades on, or some other uh Sea monsters, you could potentially get up to you know upwards of you know three four k actually duels against Sea guy who. Got his drink XE monster up to like 4k, you know, slap on a thoroughblade and he's doing some, you know, some pierce damage if I, you know, turn my monster's defense mode. So that's gonna hurt. So overall, this is a great card. You know, this is exactly uh, starting off well. You know, you get a looter and you get a pierce, you know. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next card. So, featured Daniel, go ahead and edit this and move on to the next card we are looking at. Joint Shishi Viper. So, obviously, the snake, that, that's easy. Uh, still, once again, a Earth level 4 Beast Warrior effect monster. Uh, 1200 attack, 400 defense. So, uh, I believe it's attack and defense. So, Thoroughblade, 1600 attack, 0 defense. So, you have nobody. You have nobody. You, you get Book of Moon, I'm going to run you over. You know, you have nobody with uh, Thoroughblade. But, but, you get a little bit of a, <coughs> a little bit of a defense in exchange for your attack. But, hey, as long as you got some attack, right? So, I know, I know Viper good and well. The Viper is so good. Uh, during either player's turn, either player's turn, you can target one Beast Warrior type XC monster you control. Doesn't even have to be a Juinchinshi. Attach this card from your hand or field to it as an XC material. An XC monster whose original type is Beast Warrior with this card's XC material gains this effect. Yeah. And keep in mind, if you attach it to a Juinchinshi, it will jump up by 12. You know, uh, gains this effect. If this card battles an opponent's monster after damage calculation, banish that monster. I've played Junta C a couple of times, I'd say maybe two or three times. And Viper has fucked me every time because this card is so damn good. You got if you're doing against Junta C's, make sure you, you know, at least try to think and remember that they have Viper. Because Viper will fuck you good. Not only is it going to boost their Junta C by 1200 during your turn, you know, it's pretty much just like, oh, your Junta C's, you know, 500 attack? Alright, I'll summon a monster who's, you know, 1600. Yeah, 600, that's a fine example. You know, I attack a 2 Junchi Shi. They'll be like, oh, during attack declaration, Junchi Shi Viper effect, bam, as an exhibit material, I go up to 1700, you're dead. You know, because the field didn't change, you still declare your attack, so you're dead, you know? So, uh, rip on that. Uh, and then the second effect that the uh, Beast Warrior Xenon monster will get is great too. <coughs> the, the battle of the monster, after damage catch, you banish that monster, period. Even if you, even if the joint she wins the battle, loses the battle, it doesn't matter. That monster is gone. It is banished. And I, I've had it happen to me twice, where I run into. I thought I was gonna be stronger. I attack my opponent's monster. They equip the wiper, and I'm dead because I just I got to show my battle rip. Or there's been times where I'm just like, oh, I'm stronger. I don't give a shit. You know, whether you equip a viper or not, I don't care. You know, I'm going to attack. He equips the viper. I'm like, oh, you're still dead. But then I still got banished. So. Viper is fantastic. It's it's fantastic, you know. Uh, and it doesn't even say that you can only use the effect of Viper once you turn. Like, this is your hand trap. This is your, you joint your sheet, honest. And it's really great. Really great. You definitely play three of Viper, you know. I mean, at this point, I'd probably say that you play three of almost every one of them. Uh, we'll get to the later ones where I'm kind of be like, yeah. But uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next joint your sheet. So go ahead and edit it, we're looking at Junchishi Mo, Mo Rat, Mo Mo Rat, so obviously Rat, you know, you're the Rat, uh, it's a Earth level 4 Beast Warrior effect monster, <gasps> surprise, no way, zero attack, zero defense, don't like that, you know, I'm not going to be getting a boost on my Junchishi monsters, my Xe monsters, if I have Rat Xe that's kind of lame, but, so hopefully it has a really, really great effect, and I, I believe it does, I believe that's some, if this card is normal summon, you can send one Junchishi card, from your deck to your graveyard. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, especially since you can send like the trap card, you know, uh, who can that can recycle. You know, I mean, we'll get to the trap card, but the, the trap card does have a banish effect, so uh, banish from the graveyard effect. So that's good. And I believe the spell card does too. No, no, no. This is no, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. So. You pretty much just use it to send the trap card, which we'll be getting to. But you can send, of course, your Drinchy Sheet monsters, and there is a Drinchy Sheet monster who can kind of 
you know, detach to get a different drink. She must in the graveyard and selects the material. So you could go, you know, rat, sun, like, throw, uh, you know, throw blade, bread, blade. So I want to say throw bread, throw blade. Uh, slap on the Junchi monster. It's like, hey, you know, I, I can detach and see material and target Junchi C monster in the graveyard and attach that see material. So you can just be like, all right, detach rat, attach thoroughblade, thoroughblade, you know? So it's you know, definitely a three of, you know, because it's just more copies of the thoroughblades actually giving you attack, you know? But this card's not done. And the Xe monster, whose original type is Beast Warrior, with this card, the Xe material gains this effect. All right. Once per turn, you can attach the Xe material from this card. In a special summon, one more rat from your hand or death. One more rat. So, uh, instead of getting your regular Junchi Shi effect, you get the effect of detaching. Detaching, which you might have just more rat felt, you know? So, you can just have more rat, put on Junchi Shi monster, detach that Junchi Shi, that more rat that you just, you know, slapped on top. So, then summon another more rat. More rat's effect, it does not say once per turn, so send another Junchi Shi card, you know? Yeah, so. Uh, slap on another, you know, detach, because yeah. so, none of these cards say you can only use the effect of this joint you see once per turn, which is really interesting, really interesting. It can potentially be completely dead thing, like, pretty much if I get one more rat, I can, you know, make multiple more rats, because I could just, you know, I could just go joint you see, summon more rat, send, slap on joint you see, detach to summon a more rat, that more rat will send, slap on joint you see, detach, summon more rat, that summons more rat, you know? So, it, you, you're going to be jumping, you know? I guess it's supposed to be like an infest, infestation. It's, it's a rat, right? So, uh, yeah, this card's really good. I definitely play three of uh, Momo Rat, too. So, uh, so far, we, we have not striked out yet. Not yet. All right, so let's move on to the next one. We, we have so many more cards, and we're already like 12 minutes in, people. Just, you better appreciate this. You better like that video. All right, so now we are looking at Junchishi Ram. It's ram. I mean, you know, that's, that's, kind of, that's kind of lame. <laughs> uh, all these have at least something to their name. This is just like ram. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, it is, surprise, surprise, an earth level 4 beast warrior effect type monster. Uh, 400 attack, but 2,000 defense. So, like I said, the joints of the effect, like sea monsters, they give me attack and defense. So, with this, you're not getting too much attack, but you're gaining that booty. You, know, you are getting 2,000 defense. So, all right. All right. Uh, this, one, this, one, this one's a little bit different. If this card is destroyed by battle or by card effects, uh, just a little bit slower. The, the last one she's monster we were looking at there much quicker. This one, you know, got you know, got set it or you know, normal summon it's got to be destroyed by battle or by card effect. Uh, you can target one Jutsu monster in your graveyard, except for Ryan, and special summon it. Okay. Well, I guess the interesting thing is that it doesn't say by your opponent, so you could potentially, you know, destroy it by card effect yourself, you know? Like, please don't tell me that I'm going to start seeing, like, Jun Chishi Metal Fells or something like that, you know? But, uh, it's, it's a little bit slower, but there's nothing wrong with having a little bit of floating, you know? Uh, of course, just like all the rest of the other Jun Chishi monsters, go ahead and get that, give that Xe monster effect, so Xe monster, whose original type is Beast Warrior, with this card Xe material, gains this effect. What's its effect? During either player's turn. All right, when your opponent activates a trap card or effect that targets this card. All right, all right. You can target similar material from this card and get the activation. That's pretty good, you know, that you can just straight up, if there's anything that targets your Junji monster or a trap card, you know. At first, at first I remember when I heard this uh, with Mega Kappajiri, and it, it was a trap card that targets you, I believe, you know, like, a, a compulse, but no, 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 no. It clearly says when your opponent activates a trap card or an effect that targets you. So whether you make a cat spell and I fuck you up, you know, or you just activate a trap card, period, you know, except for counter traps, I'm not, you know, I'm not fast enough to negate that. This wouldn't negate it. That's pretty good. That, that's actually really good, you know. Um, negating trap cards, as, 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 if Dreams just came out exactly this format, it wouldn't be the greatest of cards because there's not too many trap cards. I mean, it can make it like a fog blade. That's pretty, that's pretty cool, you know, you get, like, a following. But there's not too many traps running around that can, you know, really be stopped by this, you know. There's a lot of strikes, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of warnings. Uh, I mean, maybe they might flip the vanities up on you, but you already have a monster on the field, you know. So, uh, that's not the greatest, uh, you know, there's just, there's just not too many. I mean, you can, again, Mirror Force, though. Mirror Forces are getting really popular in the format, so, you know, you could, if you're trying to go really in with your Junchichis, and, you know, they, they flip up a Mirror Force, you just be like, nah, I'm the gate, you know? So, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So, uh, 
This one's a little bit slower, but I'd still say he's okay. At first, I thought it was just trap cards that targeted you. I'm like, man, that's crappy. There's not a lot of trap cards that target you. There's not a lot of trap cards, period, but the trap card, trying to target you, it's like, I'm not getting by playing a couple, but no, it's just trap card or an effect that targets this card. All right, cool. All right, so moving on to the next one, we are looking at Jinshishi Rabina. Rabbit, obviously. All right, all right. Uh, Earth, level four. Beast Warrior Effect Monster. All right. 800 attack and defense. So, I mean, it gives more attack than, you know, Rad and Ram. So, okay, but, I mean, 800 still, you know, not blowing me away. Uh, you know, she's giving me, a, instead of Thoroughblade, who was like, I'm going to give you 600 attack, but I can give you no defense. She's like, I'll give you half and half. Like, okay, all right. So, she's another one of the floaty ones. She's kind of like Ram as well. So, if this card is destroyed by battle, or by card effect, you could target one Junchishi card in your graveyard, except for, except for Junchishi Rabina. Add it to your hand. All right. So, uh, you know, you can take the XC monsters, return back to the extra deck. You can take any of these monsters, add back to your hand. You got the great rifle from the graveyard, add back to your hand, put that XC material, uh, you know, that would, with, uh, you know, with Ravina, that would be, you know, uh, well, we're not being bad. We should be that. But overall, it's not bad. It's not bad. You know, it's fine to uh, float a little bit and recycle. You know, Ram will float a little bit and uh, and uh, we will get you back your resources. You can even grab back your spell and your trap card. So overall, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, there's no complaints with uh, recycling your resources. We know that from burning the best, grabbing back and floating and staying in the game. We give you give the game of resources. If you can stay in, then you, your chances of winning are much higher. Count cards, people. Count cards. So of course. XC monster whose original type is Beast Warrior with this card and XC material gains this effect. You're either player's turn when your opponent activates a spell card or an effect that targets your attack from XC material from this card, then get the activation. Alright, this one's a little bit better than Ram. I'm gonna have to give it to it because of that effect. So you have uh Rabina as an XC material, then you get to negate spells. And that in this format that's a lot stronger. You got both of them, then you got yourself a freaking, you know, like a like, uh, she had, I mean, there's there's nothing to complain about that. We already know that that's the power. So, uh, I mean, you really wouldn't be that too powerful. I mean, if you just had a joint sea monster with just Ram and just Rabina, you'd have, what, 1,200 attack. But you have 28 booty, but, you know, if I'm going to be negating spells and traps, I kind of want to get in with something, you know? It's not just the fact that, you know, she ends up getting spells and traps. It's the fact that he also has 2,500 of the attack barrier as well. So, yeah, but if I'm all I am is 1,200 attack, you know, I got a 28 booty. You know, I'm not, like, you know... Super Heavy Samurai, I'm not attacking with my booty, so, yeah, kind of conflict of interest, but, uh, you know, like I said, when we first looked at this card, it, it, it looked like a spell card that targets, and it's just like, what, Book of Moon, you know, but no, it's, when you're playing with a spell card, or a target, so, you know, once again, you target me with, with anything, cast out, whatever, even if it's like a Book of Moon, hey, that targets, I can negate that, but then spell cards, oh my god, it, you know, like, okay, you go ahead and activate that, uh, that, uh, Pot of Desire Spirits, that top 10 is cost, Negate. Nah, nah, you don't need that. Activate Twin Twister. Go ahead and detach. I mean, discard as cost. Nah, nah, nah. Go ahead and take that knight too. You know, that's, that's, this is really good. This is really good. Spells are very, definitely uh, more dominant this format. You activate that Melody, the Awakening Dragons. You discard for cost because you want to get that blue and that alternative. Nah, nah, nah. So, uh, Rabina is really good too. You know, uh, I, I had like my own opinion about Ram and Rubina before getting into this video because I thought they just said when a spell card targets, when a trap card targets, but no, it's translated wrong. No, it's when a trap card is activated or, or effect that targets this card. That, that's great. That's great. It literally went from zero to one hundred. I, I can go with that. And of course, it's during either player's turn too. Like, really good, really good. A plus, A plus. Overall, uh, I have nothing to say. The, uh, we are done with the normal monsters. There's only five of them for, as of right now. They're all fairly good. They are, they are fairly good. I can definitely see how Konami is getting this archetype ready for you. So, people, we're going on 19 minutes in this video because I'm very long with the talker. I like to go into detail, get my opinions about stuff. And guess what? We're not even halfway done. Like, this might be, I, I can easily see it being a half an hour video. Enjoy, all right? All right, so let's move on to the XC monsters. So, sorry, uh, we have... The first 60 monster is Junchin Shi Bullhorn. Alright, you know, that, that's obviously uh, the bull, the cow, you know. Uh, Earth, rank 4. You know, I, I believe they're all the regular monsters level 4. These are all rank 4. I mean, obviously. Uh, rank 4. Beast Warrior XC effect monster. Question mark attack, question mark defense. I said all Junchin monsters gain attack and defense, depending on the attack and defense of their XC materials. So, uh, he's made with two level four monsters. So he's generic, but you won't be making him like that. You won't be making him generic because he doesn't he doesn't work like that. Uh, he really won't get too much out of being generic. Uh, but uh, he has something special that 
has never been, been done before in the game Yu-Gi-Oh. It's done in the anime, but you'll see. You'll see. Once you turn, all right, you can also exceed summon Jurinchishi Bullhorn by using one Jurinchishi monster you control with a different name as XE material. Yes, people, you're reading that right. You can literally just take Bullhorn out of your extra deck and then just slap it on one monster. You know, so I have throw a blade on my field. Special summon Bullhorn from my extra deck. Bam, slap it on top of the on top. You can do that. You know, you can slap this on top of other XC monsters. You know, other joint XC monsters. You 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 can do some crazy shit. It's like okay, you know, you can only do that once per turn. You know, you, can, you can't just be like, all right, well, you know, I'm gonna slap on you know throw blood then. Bullhorn, then a different Jinchi monster, then Bullhorn again, then Jinchi monster, then Bullhorn again. You know, you can't do that. You can only put one Bullhorn on a monster once per turn. So, at least that's the limiting factor. That really is. Um, uh, like I said, this card gains attack and defense equal to the total attack and total defense of the Jinchi monsters attached to an X material. Like I said, the other rank 4 monsters, they don't have any attack. So, you're getting your attack from, you know, Thoroughblade, you're getting your you know, Viper, the Rabina, the Ram, the Mora, you're getting your stats from them. So, their stats, like I said, they're a little bit lackluster, but if you can get multiple XC materials on, you can be a giant. Because it doesn't say that you can only have one Thoroughblade or one Viper, you know, so you can have multiple XC monsters on one monster and get upwards of, you know, close to, I've seen 4k. So, that, that's, that's power. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and look at its uh, D-Chapter effect, because they all have their own D-Chapter effect. So Bullhorn says that uh, once per turn, you can attach a casino tower from this card and add one Beast Warrior type monster that can be normal summon slash set from your deck to your hand. Yes, it's that, it's that simple, people. You well, not only, oh, okay, the Beast Warrior, you're obviously playing tanky, all right? Come on, come on, you know? But... This guy can search for Beast Warriors as well, you know, as long as the Beast Warrior can be normal slash set, you know, you can't be searching for any Beast Warrior that has to be special summoned. But the thing is, I'm like tanky and stuff, is that it doesn't even have to be level 4. I mean, you're probably going to be searching for level 4 Beast Warrior type monster, but it doesn't have to be. It really doesn't have to be. And that's why we've been starting to see that shenanigan with that, uh, that Colt Soldier Bear guy, because this guy, Bullhorn, can just search for any Beast Warrior, you know, as long as it can be normal summon or set. Uh, and it doesn't even have to be a uh, thing It doesn't even have to be Juinchishi. I can literally summon this and then search for, you know, you know, wolf bark. I can search for a uh, bear, you know, so, you know, maybe we'll see some fire fist Juinchishi. Maybe we'll see some, uh, you know, I know they, they have some cards that like to be destroyed. Maybe we'll see some fire king Juinchishi. Uh, the potentials are there. The potentials are there because they are beast ways they can share. You know, you can play some Tenki, some Tensu, play this guy, search it up. So, overall, I mean, this guy is great. The fact that I can, you know, summon, send, I have a dream to see, slap this on top, and then my head is I can attach to get any Beast Warrior type monster from my deck as long as it can be normal summoner set. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. All right. So let's move on to the next Dream to see XC monster. So we have Dream to see Tyrus. All right. You have Tyrus, obviously. Uh, Earth, rank 4, Beast Warrior XC effect monster, question mark attack, question mark effect. Same thing. Get the stats from uh, your XC materials. She's made with three level four monsters, but you're not gonna do that. You're not gonna have three level four monsters. You know, that's doing too much, right? You know, I don't, I don't, what, I'm gonna make Ouroboros and make Shockmaster? No. Her effect reads once per turn, you can also XC summon one Jujutsu Tigris by using one Jujutsu monster you control with a different name as the target. So, just like Bullhorn, you can just slap this on top of any Jujutsu monster, you know? She doesn't need three, uh, you know, three level four monsters. She really just needs one Juinchi monster, and she, there she goes. So that's pretty good. Uh, of course, it's only once per turn, so you can't just keep on slapping on tigers, types on tigers, you know. But you can, you know, like summon Juinchi monster, slap on Bullhorn, detach with Bullhorn to get your search effect, and then slap on tigers on top of Bullhorn. You know, it doesn't have to be a, you know, a monster that's either, uh, you know, level or rank or it doesn't matter. Just any Juinchi monster with a different name, but you can only put it on one tiger song per turn. All right. This card is, uh, gains attack and defense equal to the total attack and defense of the Jujutsu monsters attached to the X materials. All right, where have we seen that before? Like this is this is it's gonna get a little bit dry, but I mean we got we got to go through all the the parameters and stuff. All right, so her individual effect is once you turn, you can attach one X material from this card, then target one Jujutsu X monster you control and one Jujutsu monster in your graveyard. Attach that Jujutsu monster to that X monster as its material. She can target herself, so you can just be like. Um, you know, <clears throat> uh, all, all I have is, you know, like I said with my example, that I went summon a Juinchi monster, summon, you know, have summon Thoroughblood, slap on Bullhorn, 
Bullhorn detach my uh, Jujutsu monster to search for Jujutsu monster. Oh, my Bullhorn has zero attack because he has in defense. He has no percentage choice. All right, stop on Tigers. She will have zero attack defense because Bullhorn has no attack and it's my next material. Tigers attack. I can detach X material, target herself, target the thorough blade that I detached off the bullhorn, and then slap down X material. Now look, I'm back at 1600 with piercing damage, you know? So that's pretty good. And she can just go ahead and exchange. You know, just be like, nah, I don't want this material, I want this one, you know? Uh, so, oh, that's good, that's good. Tigers, it's nothing to scoff at, you know? I definitely know that with tiger, Tigers detaching and re-equipping, detaching and re-equipping, that she was one of the key reasons why that Junchi monster got up upwards of a, a 4K and, you know, could easily kill me. All right, so Tigris is good. Moving on to the next Junchishi monster. We are looking at Junchishi Drancia. So I'm guessing it's the dragon one. Okay, uh, you're the dragon earth, rank four, beast warrior, XC effect monster, question mark attack, question mark defense. Made with four level four monsters. We have been to the song and dance. You're not gonna do that. You're gonna slap it on top of the Junchishi. I'm well, sorry, you can also XC summon one Junchishi Dracina by using Junchishi monsters you control with different names as XC materials. You know, uh, Xeon Material attached again. Uh, I, I, I haven't been saying that generic Xeon Materials attached to this monster are becoming Xeon Materials on this card, so d I haven't been saying it, but you don't like slap it on top and then detach it on the Xeon You keep the Xeon Materials, obviously. Um, this card is attack and defense equal to the total attack and defense of the Junchi monster attached to Xeon Materials. Alright, now let's get to her uh, individual effect. So, uh, Dracina's effect is once per turn during either player's turn. Okay. You can touch one Xeon Material from this card, then target one face-up card in the field, pop it. That's really good. That's really good, you know. I'm, I'm a control player. I definitely like them, uh, the effects that I can use during the player's turn. And that's cool. And I can just touch Xeon Material, pop a card on uh, face-up on the field during either player's turn. If this card was the one, if this card was Bullhorn, where it was generic, if it was just two level four monsters, even if it had zero attack, in defense, this card would still be played, and it would be generic, freaking just two level four monsters, which is that effect, that you touch with material during either player's turn to pop, hell yeah, this card would end your extra, and there's no doubt about it, no doubt about it, you know, but no, it has to be four level four monsters, so you're not going to be doing it unless in Junichi, because it'll go super neg, it's not even worth it, and you won't even have any attack, because it only gains the attack in front of Junichi monsters, just not Xenia monsters, period, so it's not even worth it, but dressing, uh, uh, you know, that's pretty good. Uh, during either player's turn, I can pop a face-up card in the field. That, by the time the drill. Good, good. Thumbs up. All right, and the last XC monster we'll be looking at, um, because they got five regular monsters, four XC monsters. I, I think they'll be probably getting more. Probably getting more, but you know, I mean, starting off the set and ranging have this with twelve cards and counting, because it might be more that they're real. But for right now, this is all we've seen. That's 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 amazing. You know. Konami is really trying to hop this up. They're really trying to kill it. So, uh, this is Junchenshi Wildbow. Is an Earth Beast Warrior XC effect monster. You're tired of this thing and dance, aren't you? Question mark attack, question mark defense. Uh, this is the monkey, I want to say. You're the monkey. Uh, made with, take your guess. We did two level four monsters, three level four monsters, four level four monsters, five level four monsters. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that's not how you're going to be doing it because that would be stupid as all hell. Now, now the con I'm kind of wondering. Is, are they just gonna keep on going up and up and up? Because at the, at that point, it won't make any sense. Like, yeah, yeah, I can I can have five level four monsters on the field. It's possible I could pendulum summon you know five level four monsters and XC onto this. I mean, it'd be dumb as hell, you know, especially if it's not too interesting. You know, I'm wondering if you might do that. You know, maybe like do like kind of pendulum based deck, pendulum Junichi, you know, maybe if uh if the performer power engine, the performer power engine was like undone. You know what? You could probably still do it. I mean, these guys are all level four. You can you know pendulum. Uh, Pendulum Rising, switch it out for a sorcerer, pop your shit, draw, you know, get your lizard draw, your monkey board, set up your Pendulum Scale, pop and draw, you know, Pendulum, set up your Pendulum Scale, Pendulum Summon a whole bunch of Dream Tree Monsters, XC, you know, over them. You could potentially do it. That sounds crazy. I mean, I'll never get a chance to do it on Daily Duels or anything, but, you know, that sounds crazy. Anyway, I kind of wonder if they're going to go upwards, like, six level four monsters. Like, how the fuck am I ever supposed to do six level four monsters, you know? I only have four... You know, <laughs> zone. I mean, five zones. So I don't know if they're gonna keep on going up and up, or they're just gonna like start having uh, the other monsters be in the same category. Like we'll have Bullhorn W two level fours, and then something else W two level fours. Like I say, we still got a couple of years. Like I said, right now we only have nine, so we're still missing some zodiacs. So we're still missing what, three, three. I think it's is it, is it twelve or sixteen? I don't remember. I don't remember. Like, all right, let's go ahead and look at Wild Bow anyway. Uh, 
I was at the first, I was like, why, why is it called Wawa? You know, bow. It kind of looked like he's holding a sword. Now that's a bow. That's a bow. You know, it, I, I didn't see like the top part, so it just looked like he was holding like a sword upside down. Now that's a, that's a bow. Uh, once per turn, you can also exchange summon one wild bow by using Jimmy Shishi monsters you control with different names. Once per turn, right? Uh, card gains attack and defense equal to the total attack and defense of Jimmy Shishi monsters you attach to it as materials. Okay, and then, of course, the exchange materials that it has, uh, it keeps when you slap it on top. So let's go ahead and look at its, its individual effect, because I believe that right now this is the big grand finale of the Junichi Shi monster. So uh, this card is attacking blah blah blah. blah, blah. When this card, uh, this card can attack your opponent directly. Okay, so uh, it doesn't even get half. Yeah. So if you if you're trying to go for the game, then you definitely make this guy. And as long as you have some decent attack, Junichi Shi has like a thorough blade, maybe a viper. You, know, you could be up to 2800 that you're poking directly. That's that's not terrible. When this card attacks with 12 or more XC materials, it inflicts damage, battle damage to your opponent. 12? Wow, that's a that's a lot. No, that's a lot. Like, if was it maybe like enough Tigris ex exchanging and stuff like that, maybe you'll eventually get to it, but that's going to take a while, you know? <coughs> like, 12? 12? It seems a little crazy. It seems a little crazy, you yeah. uh, But hopefully it's worth it. Now, I'm expecting some game-winning effect. I really am. Uh... Attacks your opponent with 12 or more, inflicts damage to your opponent. Uh, you can send as many cards as possible from your opponent's hand and or field to the graveyard, then change this card defense. All right, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Some game winning effect. So if I send cards from your hand or field to the graveyard, as many as possible, unless you're playing like PK Fire or Burning Abyss, you're hurting. You're hurting. I literally just sent everything, you know? So pretty much don't let this thing attack you directly with 12 extended draws. Don't, don't, don't do it, you know? Uh, but of course, it can hop over your mouth and hit you directly, so, you know, yeah, be careful. Uh, change defense position, I mean, I guess, like I said, you gain the attack and defense of the Jinchichi monster you have in control. If you have 12 or more Jinchichi monsters, you see materials, you're going to have some stats. You're going to have some stats on this guy, so, uh, I mean, that last effect thing was really difficult to do, but, I mean, if you pull it off, I mean, depending on the deck, you might win. You, you, you'll, you'll probably win. You'll probably win, but, uh. I mean, like I said, you'll probably just use it for the attack directly. It's kind of like the Heartland Draco of it. Uh, I would do the one say it's the boss monster. It has a boss ass effect if you can pull it off, but you probably won't, so I wouldn't get too discouraged about it. And uh, there we go. We are done with all the Juinchichi monsters. Holy crap. We're not done. And we are, yeah, yeah. Like I guess it was going to be like a 30 something minute video. God, I'm so long with it. Yeah, shut the fuck up sometimes. This is the reason why card reviews generally only one fucking card. Because I can sit there and talk about one fucking card upwards of seven minutes, let alone, you know, pretty much an entire archetype. But I said I was going to do it. So we're going to continue. So we have a field spell, a continuous spell, and a trap card. So we're going to go ahead and look at them, and then we'll be done. So the field spell reads. As the name is Zodiac Sign. Yes, Konami did it once again, where you are not allowed to search the field spell through the archetype. They love doing that. They love doing that, you know? I guess maybe they thought it was fucking stupid that maybe Farm Girl could search Cosmo Town, because I think that was like the last time I could remember where a real archetype could search for its field because of its name. Because they, they don't do that anymore. They're generally like, nah, no. So this card, this archetype can't do it either. No Zodiac Sign, so let's see if it's worth playing some terraforming, so. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, Zodiac Sign. It's a field spell. Uh, all Jinshu monsters you control gain 300 attack defense. Hmm, where have I seen that before? Like, that's probably one of the most lazy freaking things. And it's, it, it, it seems like it's always at the field spells that you can't search for. Really. It just slap on the additional whatever attacking defense. Generally 300, sometimes 500. You know, 500, that 500 is a little crazy, you know. 500 can make a difference. Uh, but 300, uh, that's not enough, nothing to scoff at. But I mean, it's nice to have. I mean, if you have it, all right. Uh, Monsters your opponent can uh, monsters your opponent controls cannot target beast warrior type monsters you control for attacks except for beast warrior type monster you control with the highest attack, either if tied. So if you have two Jinchi monsters with the exact same attack, then I'm not locked out in attacking. I just get to choose J one. But the point is that uh, it's kind of like Silver Arcus. You can't take my weaker monsters. You got to come after the stronger ones. So I guess it can kind of protect your Jinchi monsters with tactical and lyric materials and have you know zero attack and defense. And you want to slap on a different Jinchi monster next turn. So, alright, that's not terrible. It's not terrible, but I'm still not seeing where it's worth running it and running terraforming. So, it's got one more effect. Once per turn, if you're doing to monster monsters, you control be destroyed by card effect. Okay. You can destroy one other monster in your hand or field instead. So, if I throw a Dark Hole at you, if I throw a Geki at you, you can just destroy a 
different monsters. They don't even have to be a Yujinshi monster in your hand or fill in the graveyard instead. And this is where we're starting to get to a little bit of the, um, talking about the Fire King. Because you know? this field spell is like, okay, well, a Yujinshi monster should be destroyed by Battle of a card. like, you can deflect it to a Fire King monster. But I just don't see too much synergy. It's like, why would I really want to summon Grunix? You know, pop Grunix, summon Grunix, and Grunix would go off, and then I'd pitch another monster to protect. And it's just like, eh. You know, I could potentially see this in like maybe like Metaphos or something like that. You know, uh, I I, uh, I have like a Jujutsu monster this in the in the field. I Metaphos, you know, target my thing, pop it, destroy a monster in my hand instead. Instead, you know, potentially see that, but I don't know. I don't know. Like I, you know. I'm not too much of a fan. Maybe if it's said by battle or by card effect, but I guess they're like, hey, you know, you're already protecting the weaker ones with the stronger beast warrior, so you don't need to be protected by battle too. But, you know, it's just card effect. Uh, and, I mean, I'm still losing something. I, if it's a one for one, then yeah. If you're protecting multiple, no, because then I'm still one for one, because I only use one Dark Cold and one Regeki, and you still got rid of one monster. Well, I want to go plus on you. I want to, you know, go like, all right, Rick, I'm the Regeki. Oh, you're going to lose all five of your monsters. And you're like, nah, I'm only going to get rid of one monster. We still even out, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that Fire King Junji is a great idea. If anything, I might throw in like maybe Baby Bear, maybe Tanky. I'm already gonna be playing Tanky. Tanky. I'm probably gonna play some Tensu too, because getting that additional normal summon for more of this Junji XC monster seems great too. So I might throw some bears. Maybe maybe we have third chair. Maybe Gorilla flip a table. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I had to work on the deck, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Especially for a field that can't search. I'm just not a big fan of this one. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't, I don't see it. Alright, let's go ahead and look at their continuous spell, which they can search, so that's pretty good. Uh, this is Juinshinshi no Ka Kai Kyo Q? Kai Kyo Q? Kyo Ku? Oh my god. Fucking kill me now, fucking Konami. Uh, it's a continuous spell card that reads You can target one face up monster you control, destroy it, and if you do, Special summon one Juinchishi monster from your deck. Okay. I'm totally fine with that. You know, tagging out Juinchishi monsters, I even out, you know. But, I mean, can, remember, it's a continuous spell, which means I neg on activation. You're probably wondering, like, how do you neg on activation technically? Well, it's still a resource. It's still a resource because it's a card on the field. You're taking it from your hand to the field, but it doesn't give you anything, you know. It, it, it's not like tanky where I'm activated and I'm bam, I get to, you know, get a search, get a plus. I activate this. That's one less card in my hand that I have to play. Then all they, all, from the front effect, I just target a uh, a face-up card, pop it, and then get another a Jushu one. What's cool is that it just says you can target a face-up card you control, period, and destroy it. And if you do a special summon, a Jushu monster from your, uh, from your deck. So it doesn't even have to be like a monster. You know, I could be like, Tanky, Tanky Search, Jushu no Kaku Kyo. Kai Kyo, blah, 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 Kai Kai Kai. All right. Pop the tanky, summon a Juinchichi monster. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Never mind. Never mind. At first I was kind of like, eh, kind of neg, but when you, you know, the fact that you can pop any face-up card to control, now we're talking. Now we're talking, you know? So, that's that's, that's fine. All right, but it has more effects. It's not done. You can only use the effect of Juinchichi no Kai Kyoku. There you go. Kai, Kyo, Kai Koku. So many Ks. KKK. There's there's three Ks. This is a mm, racist-ass card. Uh, <laughs> uh, Monster turn. All right. If this card is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, all right. Uh, can it target itself? But I believe it has to be on the field to resolve its effect because it's a continuous spell. It's kind of way if you can activate it and then target itself to destroy it to summon a monster and then get this graveyard attack. Uh, if this card is destroyed by by card effect and sent to the graveyard, or do I have to have two of these and then use one to destroy the other and then this one will get its graveyard effect while the other one gets the uh, the summon effect? No, I think that's how it is. Uh, you can target one Junji XC monster you control and attach this card from your graveyard uh, to the target as a signature. Well, I mean, of course, you're not getting the attack and defense. It's a damn spell card. But uh, having more XC monsters is nice, especially for the sea monsters you like to detach. You know, it's not terrible to scoff at. You know, you can have uh, Tigris exchange the spell card for a different monster. You can have Bullhorn get you another, you know, get you a search. Um, you can have Jessina pop during your turn, and maybe have another Ximitra will pop during uh, your opponent's turn, you know. Uh, Windbell will be one step closer to hitting your opponent directly for, for with the 12 Ximitra, so, oh, well, not terrible, not terrible. You know, I, I just like the fact that I can 
Summon from my deck, that's that's awesome. Summoning from the deck is so powerful and that it just has targeted face of card. It doesn't have to be a joint chi monster. It's just any face of card. So my tankies, my tensus, you know, especially my tankies that I'm probably already done with, you know. There's probably a reason why you probably don't have to run bear because if you want to go bear to try to get rid of the tanky, but now you can just tanky search Kai Kai K K K get rid of it and then summon Jewish Monster. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Like, uh, there's nothing to scoff at with this entire uh, archetype so far. All right, last card, and we're at 40 minutes. God damn it. <laughs> oh, my God, I am fucking terrible. Like, Junjushi no Hogo. Okay. It is a trap card that reads, you can target one Junjushi monster you control, attach one Junjushi monster from your deck to that target as an exchange material. That's not terrible. It's a neg, though. It's a neg, because... Because the materials don't count as resources, so I play this, and then I just take a card from my deck and attach the material. So it's a neck, resource-wise. But depending on what you you you, you attach and stuff, you can easily fuck up your opponent. Like, you know, if I, you can have a Junji monster with zero attack. <coughs> I could be like attack your Junji monster with zero attack, and like aha, you know, I'm gonna have a viper in my hand. Bam! It's like symmetry. I'm going to by twelve. Aha, Junji Shi no Hongo. I'm gonna take it. I'm targeting Shi no Junji Shi monster I control. Get my uh, Thoroughblade out of my deck, attach it, bam, I just went from 0 to 28, boy, like, okay. And the field was not changed, the attack still goes through. I'm dead, and I'm gonna get advantage because of Viper, and you have Pierce Damage, so, yeah. Is it a bad card? No, it's just a little odd, because it's a neck, it really is, you know. Maybe if it was like a continuous trap, that once per turn, uh, uh, you know, which uh, seems like once per turn during either player's turn, I could just have an uh, Exit Material, I mean, attach a monster from my deck to Exit Material, then maybe we top it, and But nope, it's only just sure I get a trap. I... Uh, but it has a great effect during either player's turn, except the turn this card is since the graveyard. So, you know, they're telling me that sometimes you can use it during the same turn, sometimes you can't, but, you know, so you can't be like, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and play the same material, then we use the second effect as well. No, you, got, you can't use it during the same turn since the graveyard, but you can use it during either player's turn. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target five joint see cards with different names in your graveyard, shuffle five of them into the deck, and then draw one card. So it's like a Pot of Avarice or John of Avarice, I guess. Okay, draw an average, because you only draw one. Uh, I mean, I guess, I mean, the, when you play this card, it's a neg, but if you can target five interested cards in your graveyard with different names and then shuffle them back and draw a card, you even out. So, eh, eh. Kind of wish this graveyard effect was a little bit better than just, you know, five Junchi Shi shuffle back, draw a card, because Rabbit can send Junchi Shi cards. I mean, Rat? No, Rabbit. Who sends? No, Rat. Rat. See, I'm telling you. Rat can send a Junchi Shi card, so. If, if, you know, like if I could summon one more rat and then one more rat can send, you know, Hogo, then Hogo would get, like, a nice effect or something like that. Like, maybe we could talk, but, nah, nah. Uh, so, the card is okay. The card is okay. And people, I, are you still with me? Wake up, wake up, wake up, we're done, all right? Holy shit. All right, I probably, I'm not sure if I'll ever do this again. I, I, I kind of thought it was cool and special to do the entire attack, but it took me fucking 40, up to 45 minutes, like, holy shit, this is probably longer than Daily Duels, it should be longer than Daily Duels, we're done, we're done, we looked at all 12 new cards of the Joint Shishi archetype, it's looking pretty good, it's looking pretty good, it's looking like some top tier shit, I know some of the plays, Rep Terra Top, I know, I know, I know, so, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this Big grand card if you like this video, I swear to Christ, I, I deserve a like for all that I went through. We got a ton of editing to do, and I'm, I, I'm done recording this, and I gotta sit down and then listen to it and edit and put the card images and then put all the cards in the script. It's gonna be a hassle, it's gonna be a hassle. A lot of copy and pasting, though, so that's nice, but... Uh, and so, I will see you guys next week, not looking at multiple cards, probably gonna be going back to singles, which is fine, it's fine, you know, you still love card review. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, thank you, like this video, you, you better like it. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time with some more card view. Thanks for watching.